Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Always showing up, showing your girl some love. We have something very special today. We're gonna talk about some fruits that you really find in the fall, the winter. Um, you really don't find these very much in the spring or the summer in fragrances, but in fragrances, you get a lot of dates. You get plum, you get fig. You find most of those fruits and fragrances that you're gonna be able to wear in the fall and in the winter. So we're gonna be talking about some luscious fig, dates, and plum fragrances that you're gonna absolutely love, that I absolutely love. And uh, y'all, let's get into it. But first, y'all, let's, let's, let's speak on something real quick. So uh, my mom, if you're watching this, she texts me, she's like, 15, that's much. So I'm like, what is she talking about? So, um, so when I called her back, she was like, Marcy, 15 fragrances, that's a lot to talk about. And I was like, mom, sometimes I even talk about like 20 fragrances, okay? But anyway, y'all, my behavior is really Scorpio behavior. It's all or nothing. I'm gonna give you every single bit of what I have or I'm gonna give you nothing at all. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's definitely Scorpio behavior. We gonna love you to death or you get nothing at all, okay? So, um, and that is who I am. And I'm sorry that I have not been able to do, like, I think I did a couple top tens since I've been here on YouTube. I've never done a top five. I will definitely try my hardest to do a top five. I will never give you a top 10 for life because um, that's gonna be a straight up lie. <laughs> Maybe I could give you a top 20 for life, but a top 10 for life, y'all, I'm lying, okay? Uh, because I'm not doing it. So, you know, um, yeah, it's just a Scorpio on me that wants to give you all of the fragrances, all of the amazing fragrances that are a part of my collection or nothing at all. And I'm sorry, but I am going to try very hard, y'all, to give you a top five. Maybe I could do a top 10, but I mean, maybe I could do a top five, but I seriously, I don't know if I'll be able to do a top 10. You're going to have to limit and restrict me. And a top five is probably where I could probably do it, but not a 10. So anyway, um, let's get this party started and talk about these delicious fig fragrances, fig plum date fragrances that you're going to be able to wear. Um, like like end of it actually it is the fall but it's summer here in california still the weather's crazy it's like 90 degrees outside and it's raining at the same time as if we're like in the south or something um hopefully there are no flying roaches or flying bugs you know mosquitoes or locusts or any plague like that that'll come along with this crazy weather and this heat y'all so anyway uh the very first one we're going to get into if you have watched my recent review on the greek perfumer manos garakinis i hope you have y'all because you really need to get into his house he has some divine um sophisticated luxurious fragrances the smell is luxurious so yeah I'll go watch my review i'll link it down below it's right before this one or maybe two before this one but i will definitely link it down below and um, go watch it so we're gonna be talking about and this is um i think i pronounced it wrong on the initial video i pronounced it uh meoxis Meoexis, but it's actually called Methesis. Um, you know, I'm not Greek, so I don't know how to pronounce it, but I heard him pronounce it, a couple people pronounce it, and it's called, I think Sebastian actually also has this fragrance as well. Um, and he got it over in Milan, I think he said. And uh, you guys know I found the house of Mano Gerakinis over in Santorini, Greece, y'all bomb love it okay so anyway this is called meth six so in here this is the most transitioning fragrance that i have in my entire collection that i really paid attention to uh because initially when you first spray it you get a burst of i'm gonna go ahead oh y'all this is so 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 good so good so good this is so good, y'all. So anyway, um, there's cacao in here. This is definitely a gourmand with some greenery. There's cacao. There's like a dusty, powdery cacao. There's some fig in here. There's some cinnamon, some vanilla, and there's some honey in here. There are also some green notes in here as well. Uh, but initially, this fragrance completely takes you on a journey. And I know if you are a gourmand lover, you are going to love, love, love this fragrance okay um i can bet you that you will and also immortal but it's not here today okay so anyway um when you initially spray it you get that 
warm, dusty cacao. Actually, it's a little cool. Um, it's cool in the opening. Then you get the warmness of the fig, some green notes, almost like a fig leaf, and the greenness of the fig fruit. Um, and then in the dry down, the fig, almost the fig and the greenness, it's slightly there. It almost disappear, and you get a very warm, decadent honey, almost like the honeycomb, um, and you're just like sliding the honeycomb down off the honey, not a synthetic honey that's in the jar. This honey is literally like you're biting it from the honeycomb, even over in Greece. And maybe that's why honey is a thing in Greece, y'all. Um, and that's maybe that's why the honey smells so good, because he is from Greece. The honey in Greece is top notch. I bought back maybe six or seven bottles of honey back from Greece because that is their thing over there. So um, I understand why the honey is so decadent and delicious on top of the greenness of the fig, the dried fruits. Um, it's like some dark, boozy, almost like a rummy um, dried fruit, almost like a plum in here as well. A plum, a fig on top of the cacao. It's like a a uh, chocolate covered, dusted uh, fig drizzled in organic honey, y'all. This is freaking amazing. Get your nose on it. It's called, it's spelled Mioexis, but it's pronounced Methesis by the House of Mono Garakinis, and I'm absolutely in love with this. This is going to compete with my number one uh, fragrance, my number one gourmand fragrance. Um, this Immortelle, and Unknown Pleasures by the House of Kerosene, Italica. Yeah, I gotta do a review on, I can do a review on my top 10 gourmand fragrances. We'll do that one, okay? Um, amazing for the fall, y'all. Okay, maybe we'll do one for the summer. So we'll kind of separate it to, you know, let me stop talking about this fragrance because it's good, y'all. Moving on to the next, amazing. Um, Jasmine, the amber, all of that. So um, the next one we're gonna talk about is one that I'm absolutely obsessed with. And this is Plum and Cognac, y'all. Plum and Cognac. I've put this on several reviews before. Let's go ahead and spray this one time. Love, love, love. <sighs> intoxicating. Oh, most of these fragrances are intoxicating. So you get that cinnamon, you get some cedar, there's some woodiness in the opening. You get the rich stewed sweet plum, y'all. You get some vanilla in here. What else do you get in here? Um, there's Immortelle, there's Vetiver. Slightly, there's a slight scent of Vetiver in here that gives it a little bit of greenness and earthiness. But for the most part, you get rum, cedar, vanilla, cinnamon, plum, and then that uh, boozy cognac smell. But y'all love it. Get your nose on Plum and Cognac. This is a prize for me. I love the bottle because it looks like a heart. You all know where my heart is. I'm in medicine. So absolutely love the bottle. That's what drew me to uh, the Fragrance House. Um, the Fragrance House is, I forgot the Fragrance House. Y'all, I'm going to think of it in a minute. But a scent of woods, okay? Duh. So I almost forgot it. But yeah, Plum and Cognac is my jam. Um, I do have the subscription. Um, yeah, I love some of the other ones, bread and chestnut, um, oak and sandalwood, I think it is, oak and oak, uh, but this one right here, this is my number one, y'all, plum and cognac, get your nose on it, love that fragrance, it's intoxicating. So the next one we're going to talk about is, uh, Black Orchid, um, and this is a Black Orchid Parfum, stunning bottle, okay, gorgeous bottle, let me back it up because it is very bright, um, but in here... Y'all, this is rich, rich. You only need about four sprays and be done. You definitely must wear this. You can wear this all year long if you want to, but I say if you wear it in the summer, two sprays, and the winter, maybe no more than like four to five sprays. This is rich, y'all. So in here, you have your truffle, you have some vanilla, sandalwood, you have some plum, some very rich plum, but you really get that truffle and that rich plum mixture. Um, it smells a little boozy as well. Oh, there's rum in here. There's your lang ylang in here as well. Y'all, this is a gorgeous fragrance. Um, I remember my ex-boyfriend wearing this fragrance. It was the original, of course about 20 years ago, you know, I'm not going to date myself, but about 20 years ago, he loved some Tom Ford Black Orchid. You know, I think it was Black Orchid because it smells exactly the same. Like I smell him from the bottle, y'all. Ooh, y'all, this is so good. But the parfum is a little richer. It's a little more, it's a little sexier to me. Um, and it's, it's, it's just, 
it's an amazing fragrance. I don't know what else to say about this fragrance, but it's definitely upscale. You definitely have to wear this with purpose. You know, plan a day to wear this. Don't just spray this. Just you, know, you can if you want to, but wherever you wear it, you have to make sure you plan if you're going to be indoors or outdoors, how many sprays you're going to wear before you uh, approach this fragrance, y'all. This is a good one. Tom Ford um, uh, Black Orchid. I'm forgetting the name. Tom Ford Black Orchid Parfum. Gorgeous, gorgeous bottle, y'all. Look at that. Stunning. And check out my beautiful ring, y'all. Asa Caftans, okay? <laughs> Shameless plug <laughs> that I'm not getting paid for. So anyway, um, another one we're going to discuss, and I wore this twice this week. Um, this is called Dates Delight, y'all. This is the bottle. Check the bottle out. Stunning bottle. Gorgeous bottle. Um, these eggs are hand painted, as we all know. Um, I wish mine had a little more swirly in it, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. So in here, you have some caramel. You have some dates. You have some honey. Let's go ahead and spray this. This is really rich, resinous, ambery. You know, you get a burst of peony in the opening, not like a super floral note, but the peony, the tonk of the vanilla, the honey, the dates, they all work together to make such a stunning fragrance. You know, this is definitely unisex. It's a little sweet, but it's very resinous, very dark. I would really literally wear this um, all fall and winter because that's how good it is. I've worn this twice uh, within the past couple of weeks and I kind of like fell in love with it all over again because when I purchased when I initially purchased it I sprayed it and I was like oh this is really pretty it's really date heavy it's kind of spicy but then I wore it one day to bed and I, I just fell in love y'all this is good dates delights by the house of oud it's what is it t-h-o-o -O, okay <laughs> if you're looking for it the house of oud dates delight so the next one is one that we all know and love. Go watch my review on this. Um, I'm not going to link this one because, you know, uh, everybody knows this fragrance. And this is by the House of BDK. And this is Gris Charnel. Two for the price of one, y'all. Um, you're going to get an amazing fig cardamom sandalwood black tea like all of that in this fragrance. Madagascar vanilla. You get some vetiver in the original one. It's gorgeous, you know. Um, this one has a little bit more sandalwood. It's a little heavier. It's a little more resinous. Uh, but I absolutely love both. You can wear both of these in the fall. Um, you can wear this one more like all year long. But love, love, love Richard now. This is my first BDK and this is my number one BDK. And y'all, I love a good tea note and a good fig note. And this will always, both will always be in my collection. Let me go ahead and spray um, this one because I haven't smelled it in a while. I haven't worn it. I've been waiting for cooler weather, you know. Look at that atomizer. Woo! Oh, you get a lot of vetiver in this one. Vetiver, sandalwood, you get the vanilla. Definitely the rich fig, the the black tea, like it's good. This one's just woodier. It's not as fresh as the original. Get your nose on Gris Charnel. Um, if this is your first time to Gris Charnel, start with the original. Ladies, men, you want to go in a little heavier, a little woodier, you can start with the X-Straight, okay? Um, that is it for BDK. And um, the next one we're going to talk about is uh, Rouge Soray. Now, Rouge Soray is by the House of Atelier des Ors. I think that's it's pronounced like that. So in here, you have some dates and you have plum, y'all. This is so, so good. And not to mention the bottle is like stunning. So you have some dates, you have some plum, you have some heliotrope, you have some vanilla, you have a really beautiful sandalwood in here. I'm staring at the bottle and not at you guys, okay? Um, you have some patchouli in here, some jasmine. You have all that in here, y'all. It's gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and spray it on my finger. I'm going to smell just luscious today, y'all. But love, love, love this. You get a really beautiful plum, you know, resinous plum dates, like all of that. It's beautiful. And it smells like nothing else in my fragrance collection. 
you know, very sophisticated fragrance, definitely an upscale fragrance. The performance is amazing. And um, when we get to the performance on some of these, I'll let you know which one doesn't last 12 plus hours. But for the most part, most of these last 12 plus hours on my clothes, on my skin, eight hours, okay? Depending on how you spray, I usually spray a little heavy, except for the Tom Ford uh, Black Orchid. I'm not spraying heavy with that one, okay? <laughs> But y'all, this is good. There's a rich fruitiness to this fragrance, you know? Yeah, very, this is like very, um, it's decadent, you know? You get those decadent, like dried, boozy, it's a little boozy too as well. But love this, the vanilla in here is pretty, but there's a beautiful sandalwood and jasmine in here. Um, definite, and amber in here as well. Defi definitely a gorgeous fragrance. Rouge Soray by Atelier des Ors. It's a little warm in here, you guys. It's like I said, and I have my, I have central uh, AC and I have my air on, but like I said, it's like 90 degrees outside and I have the windows open. So, you know, what is it? Conduction, convection or something like that, you know, all of that. So once I close the blinds, it'll stay cool. So um, anyway, the next one we're going to talk about is Rosé All Day. Now, when I purchased this fragrance, this is a beast, y'all. Such a beast. You know, I really, really like it. Let's say that I love it, but I can only spray it. I accidentally sprayed this um, when I initially got it and I went to work and I oversprayed it and I was embarrassed for myself, you know, that night. I think I sprayed it like eight times. Rosé all day, maybe three, four times, especially if you're going to work, maybe two times and you're going to be able to smell it all day, okay? Uh, but yeah. It's such a beautiful fragrance. It's filled with plums. There's some rose in here. There's some dried apple crisp, like dried fruits, you know? There's some cinnamon in here, some vanilla. It's beautiful. There's some jasmine in here as well. But this is such a beautiful fragrance. But you really get that plum, that dried apple crisp. You know, um, this actually, this fragrance actually reminds me of a nursery rhyme. Uh, remember Little Jack Horner? I don't know if you guys remember that. <laughs> sitting in a corner. I think that's the nursery rhyme. Well, he, he, he put in his thumb, he, um, he stuck in his thumb, he pulled out a plum. <laughs> but I always thought that nursery rhyme, when he pulled out a plum, I wasn't thinking plum pie back then. I was thinking apple pie and he pulled a plum out of an apple pie. So this fragrance actually, every time I smell it, it reminds me of that nursery rhyme. It takes me back y'all to little Jack Horner sitting in the corner. <laughs> Anyway, Rosé All Day is amazing and it's beast mode. Do not spray more than four sprays. Two sprays if you're going to work because it will last forever. Amazing for the fall, the winter, spring, summer. I would definitely like chill on this fragrance because yeah, it's a beast, y'all. Anyway, get your nose on it. Um, I need to start wearing this more often. I haven't put a dent in it because you don't need very much. You know, you can just like, you know, split the bottle with somebody if you want it to. Or decant, decant it out. So the next one uh, we're going to talk about is one that's super fam. You get a really beautiful plum in here. Some people say it smells a little peachy. There's frangipani in here. There's some red fruits in here. And this is by the House of Parfums de Marley. Um, this is really sweet. So that's why this is going to be very good for the fall, winter. Even though the bottle is very bright, it looks like it's, um, based on the bottle, it looks like it should be for the summer. Uh, but it's definitely for a cooler, this is a cooler weather fragrance. Fragrance. But yeah, you get a really beautiful vanilla plum. You get the red fruits in here. Like I said, the frangipani that brightens it up. You get some sandalwood in here. This is a gorgeous fragrance, ladies. Um, this lasts forever. I've worn this to work as well, and I've oversprayed this at work as well. There's a little bit of a dent in this fragrance because I did wear it um, last year a lot. I haven't worn it this, I think I've worn it maybe once or twice this year, uh, but I'm definitely gonna be rocking this in the fall, winter. Um, you know, this kind of is, is a little uplifting because the frangipani in here gives it a little bit of brightness. Um, the red fruits, it's really sweet, super feminine. Um, even though it has that rich stewy plum inside, y'all, gorgeous. And this is Casili by Parfums de Marley, if I did not say Casili. Yeah. So the next one we have is another Femme, Femme fragrance, not Femme Fatale. I said Femme Fatale and somebody went in. Um, so on in my comments. So um, this is by the House of Siage. 
And uh, I know there's been a lot of controversy uh, and people don't really like my reels when I do show my cupcakes um, because of like some issues with the owner and with bond number nine. I don't know, but they have such amazing fragrances. So I really hope they rectify and fix those situations that they have with the African-American community or whatever community it is. Uh, but I really hope they change those things and fix those situations um, so that we all can just become a fragrance community, you know, and get racism out of it, even though it's our reality today. So anyway, this is uh, by the House of Siage, and this is Love is in the Air. I've gotten multiple compliments on this fragrance, and I actually bought this because I wanted to do a plum review last year, and I'm not sure if I did it. I can't remember if I never did it or if I did. Um, I don't think I ever did it. So love is in the air it was so unexpected but i got multiple comments on um, compliments on this fragrance um you get the heliotrope you get some plum you get some like some orange in here some mandarin that's really like soft and subdued but you really get like an almondy powdery plum note um it's really fresh and airy and just like plummy at the same time y'all this is good let me go ahead and spray this if I can get it open, you know, it comes off like this. Gorgeous bottles. But yeah, let me spray the House of Siage because I wore this to work and I got like a couple compliments. And yeah, it's good. A little bit of the brightness from the citruses, but like a orange peel sort of, you know, but you really get that heliotrope, the plum. You get a little bit of rose in here as well. Yeah, but the powderiness and the plum... Y'all, this is good, but it definitely smells like um, citrus skin, you know, off of a fruit, like the peeled skin. I love this. I think I might wear this later on tonight to work, y'all. Um, love is in the air by the House of Siage. I bought this on sale. Um, I've learned not to purchase the cup cupcakes at regular price because I did in the past multiple times when I initially got into the house. I will wait until they go on sale. If I miss out, I will wait until the second round. I think I purchased this one for like $160, y'all. Um, such a great deal. Uh, beautiful, stunning fragrance bottle. Gorgeous. All right, so the next one, uh, we have Arabesque. And this is one that I found over in Germany. And this is by the Merchant of Venice. Y'all, I love, love, love this fragrance. It's so good. You know, every time I say something's good, I just want to sing that Beyonce song, y'all. Or Destiny's Child song. So any oh, Arabesque is so, so, so good, y'all. So good, okay? It's amazing. Um, so anyway, you have your cinnamon, ginger, you have some plum, tobacco, you have some vanilla, you have some sandalwood in here. Um, it says you have some cedar as well, y'all. This fragrance is so good, you know? You really get that... Of course, the plum, the cedar, the sandalwood, the vanilla in here, y'all. It's beautiful. I don't get the ginger in here at all, you know? But yeah, the vanilla, the plum, y'all, I it's stunning. I love this fragrance. I don't know where you can purchase this, but I'm, I'm going to cherish this for life. If I see this in another country while I'm traveling, I might pick up an additional bottle. That is how good this is. But this is definitely a fragrance for the fall, winter, fall, winter, spring, and the cooler months. Uh, but yeah, it lasts forever. 10 plus hours on your skin and your clothes, y'all. I did spray it a lot. Um, I wore this on my way back from Germany to LA, it was like 16 hours. And when I got back home, I still smelled this on my clothes, okay? So that's how good it is and the performance is amazing. So anyway, this is Arabesque. Ooh, it's so good by the Merchant of Venice. Y'all, it just gives me, some of these fragrances, they just give you like chills. Have you ever gotten chills because something smells so good? It just stimulates those neurons, you know, those hormones flowing all through your body, you know, those dendrites, electrons, all that stuff, you know, floating around, you know, in your brain, just jumping around. It just makes you so excited, so happy. Um, the dopamine in your brain, y'all, all of that. And that's why I love perfume and love talking about it and smelling it because it gives you such a natural high, like a fragrance high. Um, who needs alcohol? You know, you don't, you need fragrances. <laughs> so anyway, um, the next one, last but not least, we're going to talk about um, Angel Ocosier. I think this is it. Yeah, Angel Ocosier. And this is a beautiful, I think this is, this is the name, right, you guys? 
yeah anyway this is a beautiful fig fragrance so in here i'm gonna go ahead and spray it this you would think that this star is for like the summer i guess because all of their other stars look like it as well but in here you have a beautiful fig a very airy fig you have a beautiful i'm gonna spray it on this hand you have a very airy fig beautiful very fresh fig you know you have some praline in here. You have some sandalwood, fig. You have some vanilla in here. Y'all, this is a gorgeous, airy fig fragrance. So if you don't like something that's like sandalwood heavy, this will also work for the summer as well, you know? But this is definitely gonna be amazing for the fall because that fig in here gives it a little bit of depth and the praline that makes it really sweet, you know? Not too sweet, you know? But y'all, this is good and it lasts, okay? Um, it lasts about six to eight hours. This one and Love is in the Air, they last about, I would say eight hours. This one may last six to eight hours. Love is in the Air, I still smelled it at the end of my shift on my clothes, but on my skin, it lasted about six hours and I did spray pr uh, pretty heavy. But all the other fragrances, uh, for the most part, actually we have one more left, you guys. Um, they last. But yeah, this is good. Angel Ocosier. Um, Just an honorary mention because I only have a tester for this or a travel size I ordered from Lucky Scent. This is Fig Infusion, y'all. This is a really beautiful, <clears throat> excuse me, fig fragrance with orange blossom. Initially, when I sprayed this, I was like, ooh, this is strong. But then it leans slightly masculine in the dry down. Uh, but when I did spray it, um, I got the orange blossom as it started to dry down. You get some greenness, orange blossom, and fig. Uh, that's pretty much the gist of it, but it's only about $60 a bottle, y'all. Um, so get your nose on it. This is Fig Infusion by Essential Parfums. Last but not least, we have a designer scent, and this is Versace Crystal Noir, y'all. Um, this is a beautiful, who would have known? Did you guys know that there was fig in this fragrance? Um, this is like a spicy, you know, fig fragrance. There's fig in here. Um, there's black currant. There's jasmine, tuberose, frangipani, ylang ylang, all of that. But it's such a stunning fig fragrance. And I love it. It's more of like an airy fig, like Angel Ocosier. But you get a little spiciness. It almost smells like black pepper and the violet in here, you guys. The violet is amazing. So violet, fig, a little warm, spicy. You get that vanilla. Um, and this is Versace uh, Crystal Noir. And this is the EDT. Get your nose on the EDT. I have the EDP. I decluttered it. It smelled like a peppery coconut. But the EDT, y'all, is amazing. And I absolutely love it. Get your nose on it. Um, the violet is stunning in here with the fig, y'all. All right, I think that is it. Go on to the world, spread amazing sillage, do good, be good, all of that, and get your nose on all of these fake fragrances, y'all. Love you guys, and um, yeah, leave me a comment, you know, uh, what's your favorite uh, fake fragrance, fig date plum fragrance. Um, also, I didn't mention Soul Tan. I completely forgot Soul Tan. Yeah, how could I forget Soul Tan? Um, so I think I got everything else, you guys. <laughs> So we're about to end this video and I'm not doing any edits. Um, so So Tan is a beautiful vanilla oud fragrance with a beautiful scent of dates inside. Um, I definitely get the oud, but it's very rich, you know? Very rich oudy fragrance, but in the base, it's pretty much dates and vanilla. Um, amazing for the fall winter, y'all. Yeah, I only wear this in the fall winter. So anyway. Go on to the world, spread amazing sillage, do good, be good, all of that. Love you all. Bye-bye.